Good morning. So, uh, another week, uh, another opportunity to move uh, Slippy Pixie forward a little bit more. Well, the rewrite. Um, so, better get into the ID and see where we were last week. That's right, so um, we added a status um, command to the CLI, which is basically just a um, an alias, effectively, for ping, which doesn't do the output. Um, so what's next? Um, what do we have on there? Uh... Oops. Maybe Pixie help. So the existing app. Yeah, we've got GUI stuff, daemon start and stop stuff, status, export, import, and version and help. Okay, we probably should do something about version before we... that's a quick and easy win there, he says. Maybe. Um We'll see how it goes. Um, and then, um, then everything else there depends on actually having snippets, really, or is GUI based. Um, and the GUI stuff we're not doing yet. I want to do CLI only. Um, and the daemon stuff. Um, uh, that's soonish, but let's get um, let's move on and get some snippets in and out of the app first, I think. So, okay, let's have a quick go at the version. Um, so at the moment, it should, I think. Yeah, it just gives the number. We'll probably do something very similar. Uh, for the new version. Um, so that means storing that somewhere and keeping it up to date. Uh, let's think. Um, so we've got a main. I guess we could just stick it in a variable and then output it. That's kind of what I did on the Vala version. Yeah. There is an argument to be made that I could pull it from from git and tags and things like that which would be nice but I think maybe that's something we could do later because I think so quick look. Um, <clears throat> go along. Uh, what should we have? Uh, get app version from git. Go application to build versioning. How do I import with version of pen? Now that's different. Let's try that. Hmm. Okay, let's do a bit. I was thinking I could maybe use generate or something. Anyway, that's something for another day, I think. 
all I really need is just a little, var little variable. So we'll do that. So we'll just have um, our version string. Um, in fact, we don't even need to do that, do we? Equals um, one point six point zero um, dev. So it's just going to be compare. It's not used, is it? Unused variable. Okay. Well, let's use it. Um, well, hold on a minute. What version do we want? Do you want the client version? Or the server version? Hmm. Or should they always be the same? Ideally the same. Don't really intend it to be distributed without both at the same time. Well, we'll just do this for the moment and then um, I could probably do something a little bit extra later. But yeah, right, so. This will be an easy one, hopefully. Um, so we need to check the conf. We need to check flags. It's going to be very similar to this status. So we'll take that. Version, version, I should have just done like a search and replace there, but anyway, version, oh, I haven't got version usage, Let's... Yeah, let's put these things um, closer together because that was a little bit annoying taking that in it. So we'll do this. That's a block. That's a block. And why on earth am I doing that? All right. Oh. Um, and then here we're gonna have version usage equals um Display version. Oh my god, can't type today at all. Display version number two. Okay, so we're going to whack it in there. Why is that complaining then? Um, 
Oh, because it masks. Ah, uh, yes, okay. Let's change these so that they're obvious what they are. Status flag. Yeah, I don't really want to do that. That's fine. Flag set there. Do, 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 do. Okay. Display version number. Do the version, 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 version. Okay. Uh, yeah, take that, do that, and this will be a shortcut out. So basically want to do the same. There's the ping. Okay, so the command version. The reason why I'm doing, instead of just like dropping out here, is because I'm just thinking ahead that I do think at some point I want to show both the CLI and the version. Um, so I might want to go get the version from the daemon if it's running. Um, and display the CLI version. And that might just be like an optional extra or something. You might have an optional flag, but at the moment I just want the version. So in here, I'm gonna basically do So case version. So this is the command that we were asked to do. Um, and we're going to basically do this. In fact, we'll do all four of those lines. Should probably do that in the right place. Don't know how that happened. Okay. So all we do is print out the contents of the main version variable. And that's another reason for doing it in the run rather than 
in the config init. Um, although we do have out passed in, it's better to let uh, the run function deal with where it's going to send any like standard out in output and stuff. Um, so I think that should do it for that. I'll give it a go. Um, where are we going? We're going to number five here. Um, so let's do a go build minus o snippet pixie. So snippet pixie version. 1.6 dev. Cool. Uh, and I really should do some tests for that as well before we finish up on that. So status Think I'll take those two. So on the version, expect version back, and here. Hmm, interesting. What's what would I want to be what would I want to take precedence? The status flag or the version flag? I think because it has output and therefore you know exactly what's happened version so otherwise you'll be like hey what's going on where's my version should therefore be nil again so we're going to get hopefully back nil a version command nil now that's not going to pass just now because i've written written it so that status is analyzed before version so i'm expecting a failure now I run this, I can control shift F10. Yeah, fail. Status is not equal to a version expected command. Okay. But if I make version early on, but right at the top. Now I'll go run that again. Ooh, still not. That's interesting.
Right, so that, well, actually, no, I'll keep that for the moment. But yeah, sit and I said the wrong, I moved the wrong thing. <laughs> um, I shouldn't have changed the run command switch statement because by then I should only have either version or ping or status. Um, it was in the uh, flag stuff that I needed to move it. This is where we do the initial analysis and actually set the command. So I did the wrong one. Uh, so um, we'll take these two, stick it up here, and go back trail in space. Okay, so now the version flag it's going to be checked first, and if it's set, we're going to set the command to version. Otherwise, we'll check to see whether ping is set, which also has output. Um, and then status flag is last at the moment, which has no output. Um, and then and we just mirrored, mirrored it here so we know roughly what's going on, hopefully. Okay, so let's check that. Pass, good, okay. Uh, so while we're here, we can do an extra little test. What if we have not only status, but we also have Stick pin in here. In fact, let's take that put that right at the end just to show that it doesn't matter which order you put everything in. So this is like you called snippet pixie ping status version, and I still expect version to come back. Fingers crossed. Pass. Cool. Good stuff. Okay. Um, right, so let's just give that a quick run. Build. Version works. That's to ping. Nothing there. Take out version, and it should complain that there's no service because I haven't got the daemon running. Um, so let's run the daemon, just make sure that's up to date. Snippet, pixie, d. Should get rid of that daemon. So Snippet Pixie D, it's up and running. Ping pong version works. Cool. Righty ho. Good stuff. All right, so that was a quick win. Add that to get ignore. And I'll take out that demon because I'm not going to use that from now on. We do need to get a make file set up. Um, I'll do that soon. Okay. Let's commit that.
done. Okay. All right. Um, got a few minutes. I can start working on the next one. Um, so one thing we need to do is add snippets before we can then start using them in the daemon to check for stuff. Um, so in the daemon, all we have at the moment is a ping command, uh, which is used by the status and the ping CLI commands. Uh, what we really need to do is now start hooking up um, the, let's just check, we haven't got anything here for, yeah, that's good, very basic there. Um, I'm going to close that off. Don't need that either. Um, so what I need to do is start using some of this package stuff we've got in Snippet Pixie package. Uh, things like um, add snippet. Um, so in this case, um, it takes an abbreviation and a body. And after it's done its database stuff, um, it returns a snippet with an ID, abbreviation, body, and a date last used, which will be um, 1st of January 1972 or whatever it is um, at the Unix epoch at first. I, it's not used. Um, so this will be interesting getting a snippet back through dbus I have no idea how to do that um, so I guess what we should do first is try and set up a dbus function on the daemon that takes the abbreviation and body um, and then see how we uh, go and uh, actually use it. So let's just double check this. Just want to double check to the ping. So we get a connection, we export the service. And every function here is a service. Okay. I think I'm going to be ending up um, refactoring this, putting these service functions into different uh, files and things. But for the time being, um, I can put them in the same, because they're all going to be, in theory, fairly short. Um, I haven't got a test for this year, have I? Hmm. Don't even know how to test these things. Hmm. 
could you probably do that? Hmm. I guess I should probably do that first. Get a ping test up and running on here. Just want to test the individual functions. Okay, let's do that. Do a quickie. That's probably going to take the rest of my time, but okay. Uh, so dbus test. Because I really, really should really. Okay. Uh, cheat and take this bit. We don't need the bytes, but take that out for the moment. So, um, test. Uh, what are we call in that service ping? service ping. I like how it recognizes what I'm trying to do there. That's really good. Um, okay, so what do we do then? We just, what we're going to be doing, we're just going to be calling ping with some sort of string, expect the same back or pong if it's an empty string. And it's a different type of error that potentially comes back, which is interesting. Not sure how I handle those in tests. So let's find out. Um, so I need a new service with a config. And at the moment, it's not a lot to that. Oh, uh, the init stuff as well, of course. Hmm. That's a good point. I've never tested any of that, even though I'm not really doing anything. So let's cheat on that. What are we getting on the config? Just the DB path. Mm. 
that's not really working out very well at the moment. Do need to do a better DB path thing go in there. Uh, let's um Let's take all that. Yeah, because it hasn't built yet. Um, so not doing commands anymore. We are expecting DB paths. Else at the moment. So right, let's take out a whole bunch of these things, just don't need them. And we don't need that, don't need that. Right, so Snippy Pixie and the command is DB path, isn't it? I'm not even using right okay I need to upgrade this while I'm doing this I want to use the same flag thing everywhere so we'll take that there and that should actually be enough blah 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 do the thing Got database and D, okay. So with a new version, I can do this. So P flag package allows me to use a shorthand where I pass in a short uh, shorthand version <laughs> um, so that should work default path do the thing return okay and it just sets the config db path okay this will be interesting so um First of all, get a shot of this at the moment because I'm not going to do that. I've got to do this ping, not ping, init test. So expect a db path. Um, we're expecting, hold on. This on its own, no arcs, should get a 
<laughs> it's gonna probably be um home config blah 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 we'll check it out in a minute <clears throat> excuse me snippet pixie It's a relative. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Um, yeah, so it is just the bit I need. So it's fine. Snippy pixie, snippy pixie dot TB. That should do that. Okay. Here we do minus D um, ripple, ripple, DB. We should expect back ripple. DB. And in fact, it should be That's all I'm going to support is that variation, I think. Um, actually, no, that's not true. That should be OK. And then here, long form, I want to always support. Like this. So it does the thing, does the init, No output, uh, which is that true at the moment? It is, isn't it? It's not until it hits the daemon that it prints it. Yeah, we do it in the run, so that's fine. And then here, we only have the one thing set which is db path and it should be equal to the spec expected db path okay In theory, I think, what did I change here? Oh yeah, that, that's fine. Okay. So I need to grab that. There we go. And go get 
test stuff as well. Okay. So they're both happy now. And we can try a test on that. Pass. Let's make it fail. Um, uh, we expect wobble dbx. Run it again. Fail. Your wobble, wobble db is not good to wobble db. Cool. Great. Okay. Commit. Add test on Damon in it. Okay, and now I want to do a quick test of ping as well. And then that'll be me. I'll start working on um, add snippet on the next time. Test service ping. Thank you very much. It's Is it new? T. Thank you very much. It's nice when things just auto complete for you. Now's the fun bit. So we're going to be. Go do some of this. So we need to, now that we've tested in it, we can just use it. So so we should be able to basically take that there. We do need standard out, do we? Actually, I'm not sure. No, we don't. No, we do for the convict south, don't we? So we need that. We need... Well, we can do that test, I suppose. It doesn't harm... So we can basically take all that. Um, really don't care about what we pass in here. So we can just do um, Can I just do that? Can I just do an empty string? Can I pass the address of it? No. What do I need to do to... I suppose I could just make one. Oh, I could just give it that, like an empty. Add it. All right, so empty args to standard out. Don't get an error back. Out should be empty. Now we want to call oh, 
Oh, this will be fun. I need to get a service. But. Certainly don't want to do all this. So I suppose I could just do that. Because all this does is connect it up to Dbus, which I don't want to test. That's a live thing. All I want to do is pass in the config service type thing into ping. And get potentially some sort of debus error returned instead. So we've done the init, create a service. We're then going to get. A response and an error back. Can't do that. I do that, do I? Oh no, I do need to do that. Um, response and an error back from serve dot ping, and I'm gonna first. Ask nothing. And therefore I expect is there oops, is no error. And then I expect response to be pong. Maybe I should do that. Okay, I think that's okay. Nope. Interesting. Why? What? Where? Oh. That's going to be because it's not a proper error, isn't it? Well, it should be Neil coming back. It was the init that failed. Oh, I've got to pass at least one. <laughs> I need 
need to pass in the command line. Natural. Zero. We always have that. It's good actually. I'm glad it caught that. Okay, so this is more like it. This is a more normal panic value method, blah blah blah, called on it. Yeah, okay. Fifty three. Yeah, so we're not getting a normal error back here. We're getting a debus error. So I can't test it with that, I think. So let's do um, is there is nil? No. We just do Just do equal, I suppose. Got true as well. Let's try equal. Um, Not sure if that's going to work or not. I oh, did. That's cool. Okay. Uh, and if we expect Pong X, when we really should actually get Pong, does it fail? It does. Pong is not equal to Pong X. Cool. So that works there. Um, should we do a little thing here? I'm going to do the two different things, really. Pass in something, we expect it back. And that pass okay good stuff so we've now tested daemons in it and ping function test diamonds ping okay that's a good start and that gives us at least we've got started on them um,
testing this stuff, although in it, that's in the wrong place. In it is not in here. It's in Damon Main. Okay, let's do that. Let's quickly fix that. And test. And Damon. Take the whole lot. Nope. It says. Yeah, I'll do that. What? In it, and then dbus test does not need an init. Okay, Damon will do go test. Pass, let's do a go test minus V. Ping and init. Okay. And then here, go test minus V as well. Test config, yeah. Because we're not actually testing any functions yet. On there, because it's all kind of Foxed through the daemon. Okay. Vector test config init to test. All right, I think that's enough for today. I need to get on with my worky work. Um, that's a good start. That's actually given us a little bit of structure there, a little bit of testing on the daemon that we didn't have before, which is nice. Um, and sets us up for um, testing, certainly for the daemon's dbus test. We can start filling things out. So now we've got a ping test, we can start testing add snippet um, and then hook it up with the CLI and test it there. Make sure it all works together. Once it's up and running anyway, which would be interesting. Might have to start setting things up a little bit more with make files and things to make sure it all hangs together. Um, but yeah. Okay. Um, so that's me until next time. Um, thanks for watching. Um, until next time, take care. Bye.